And now joining us on the telephone, the Saints' second round selection, Eric McCoy, who joins us from Lufkin, Texas, and uh, makes his way from Texas A&M. Eric, first of all, congratulations and welcome to the organization. Thank you so much. I'm excited to be a part of it. Can you uh, help us understand what the phone call was like, where were you were, who was with you, and uh, and how you felt? Yeah, so I was just back in my hometown of Lufkin, Texas. Um, mom and dad by my side, girlfriend in my lap, and the rest of the family and friends sitting around the living room. Um, when I got the call, man, I just I burst into tears. This is something that I've been waiting my whole life for. Um, an opportunity that I wouldn't have without my family and friends. And I'm just actually really blessed to be in this position. Um, Eric, this team obviously in need of a center. Kind of addressed the issue somewhat in free agency, and yet uh, we're coming out to select you. What does that tell you about what they think of you? I mean, the thing, I think I mean that think very highly of me. Um, you know, Coach Rushari came down to my pro day, worked me out. Um, I guess he liked what he saw. Uh, I had a formal interview with him when I was at the Senior Bowl as well. Um, I'm just thinking that I really like what I saw, the intelligence level, the physicality. Um, and it got, it got relayed up to the, to the boss, man. We're just going to gonna ride with it. Eric, you, you consider yourself a swing guy, center guard, either guard? Uh, I consider myself a center personally. Uh, they told me that they would like, they wanted me to be a center. Um, but I also think I'm interchangeable. I can play guard and center. Uh, I played guard pretty much every spring. I was A and M. I have a couple of starts there, and I played it in high school. Um, so I'm, I think I'm pretty inter interchangeable in that aspect. We know what they say about availability, Eric. Your availability over the last three seasons is quite remarkable. How did you sustain the streak? Uh, what is it? Thirty nine straight starts. Yes, sir. Thirty-nine. Um, I would just say that it's it's all about your mental toughness. Um, as an offensive lineman, especially, you're going to get nicked. You're going to get nicked up. You're going to get bruised up, um, and you're going to be hurt. But bar serious injury, I feel like you have to be on the field. Um, but there's no excuse not to be on the field. You know, Eric, where did that speed come from? You're a big fella to be moving that fast, four eight nine in the forty <laughs> at the combine. Um. I would just say that came from a lot of it was genes. I would say a lot of it was genes, but then a lot, a lot of it also came from hard work. Um, you know, just kind of developing the strength of my legs, uh, my hips to be able to run like that. Now, what do you know about this team's center situation? We just mentioned that Max Unger uh, retired this offseason. Uh, they want you to play center. Do you know a lot about Max Unger and what he brought to this team and the way they hopefully expect you to play? Yeah, I know that he was extremely intelligent. He was an extremely intelligent player. Um, most times, he knew what the defense was going to do before before they even they even did it. Um, he was an athletic guy that could get out in space, but he also held his own at the point of attack. Um, and honestly, I just think he, he was a hell of a center for y'all. Um, yeah, Eric, what 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 do you think about the prospect of putting the ball between your legs to a Hall of Famer like Drew Brees? Honestly, I've, I've been a Drew Brees fan for a long time. Um, I think he's the best quarterback in the game, and honestly, it, it's just a real feeling knowing that I'm going to be snapping the ball to him sooner or later. Eric, when, when, you, uh, when you got off the phone after the selection, who did you talk to first, and what did they say to you? Um, that would be just the people around me. Mom, dad, girlfriend, just we're so proud of you. you. You finally did it. I would imagine that Lufkin, Texas is a little louder tonight. Is that the case? Oh, for sure. 100%. <laughs> yeah, it'll, it'll be a lot louder tonight. You know, Eric, what do you feel like you learned at A&M that you're going to bring with you? Did you think you feel like it prepared you? Obviously, um, you know, a second round draft choice. So obviously you did pretty well there. But do you feel like you're well prepared for, for what you're about to face? Yeah, I do. I do feel like I'm pretty well prepared. I mean, I know that the NFL is, is its own its own level. But I feel like Coach Fisher came in. Um, he did a great job in the offense. It was more of a post-style offense. We had more under center plays. Um, and really the mental aspect of the game, I feel like he helped me out with a lot. And just also being tough as well. Uh, he pushed us a lot mentally and physically. Uh, every day of practice, every day of workouts. And I feel like that's, that's led me to be successful uh, up to this point. And I feel like it'll take me a lot farther. 6'4", uh, 303 pounds. Am I to believe that, Eric? You seem like you can throw a little, uh, around a little more than 303. Yeah, you know, I, I, I try to carry my weight. I try to carry my weight pretty well. You know, three hundred three, but look, three fifteen. 
Well, congratulations, Eric. We're excited to see you. And obviously the Saints yes. uh, wanted you in a big, bad way for what they paid to move up to get you. So we'll see you here on campus soon enough. Yes, sir. Appreciate it a lot. All right. Thanks, Eric. Eric, right. take care. Congratulations. Thanks. Yep.